Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Film Top. The reality show Pawn Stars featuring Rick Harrison and his family dealing with pawn business at their widely famous golden and silver pawn shop has been in the entertainment industry for almost a decade now. Over the many years, the series has shown tremendous success with the Harrison family's amazing dealing and selling techniques. The show is not only known for the pawn business, but it is especially popular for the Harrison family's conflicts. Each episode features a number of people coming in to deal with some intriguing businesses, which include some pretty rare and unique items that are worth a watch. Some of the things that are brought in the show are so weirdly exclusive that leaves the viewers coming back for more. Here are five of the most unique items to ever appear in this series. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on anything. First off is Sam Hager Cigar Box Ukulele. Sam Hager, also known as the Red Rocker, was famous for his generosity and kindness. Sam Hager was extremely successful in the rock industry along with his band Van Halen. So when a woman came in with a beautiful multicolored ukulele case, which was actually a cigar box, Corey was completely stunned by it. The case had the signature of the musician himself. The woman said that it belonged to her former boyfriend and he had forgotten it at her place. Corey was so amazed that he didn't believe the signature was original. Corey called in the shop's expert and the sign turned out to be original. The beautiful ukulele cigar box ended up getting settled for $400. It's obvious that such a magnificent item will turn some heads. The Lavish Water Jetpack Though water jetpacks are not really an item for a pawn shop, it was certainly valuable for Corey. Corey was dealing with some family drama earlier in the series, so it was the perfect opportunity for him to give his mind some rest. When Shumley, one of the shop's infamous employees, came in with a sale deal from a man for a jetpack, the two immediately drove to the water park to experience some fun and hopefully make a deal out of it. The thing about this jetpack was that it was the first one ever made. Now that was something of great value to Corey. Unfortunately, Corey was unable to buy the jetpack as the price wouldn't come down from $13,000. In the end, Corey and Shumley had to leave without the jetpack. Fake Willie Mays Jersey Antique items related to history's famous stars have the most valuable price at the Golden and Silver Pawn Shop. When a man came in with a baseball jersey that seemed to be the original one worn by the famous baseball player Willie Mays himself. The jersey seemed to be in perfectly new condition despite it being very old. When the shop's expert was brought in to analyze the signature, it proved to be completely original. Corey ended up buying the shirt for a whooping $31,000, only later it was discovered that the item was totally fake. Ouch. The Famous Eccentric Drawings Many of the amazingly detailed portrayals of aliens we get to see in famous sci-fi movies come from the artwork of H.R. Giger. H.R. Giger's original work is extremely valuable with its incredible details and excellent designs. H.R. Giger's work was unique in its own way as every sketch told a different story. His single drawings are probably worth hundreds. So when a man walked in with a signature H.R. Giger artwork design, Corey decided to check its authenticity. The expert identified the signature to be real and the book settled for $500. Even though the book had no actual value without the signature, it was a pretty fascinating piece of art and worth its price. Corey's Clever Boat Purchase When a man came in with a gigantic 1984 Chris Crafts boat, Corey was quite hasty in making the purchase even though it was just the beginning of his pawn business career. The boat was very big and expensive, and it was also against the golden and silver pawn shop's policies as upgrading and recovering a boat for sale costs a lot. Though Rick was very angry at Corey for making such a big of a deal without telling anyone, the two got into an argument and Corey stormed out of the shop quite furious. However, when they took the boat for recovery, it was found that it would only cost a few hundred dollars. Both Corey and Rick were relieved and the purchase turned out to be one of Corey's best purchases. 
In spite of being inexperienced and completely new to the business of the pond world, Corey did amazingly well. Pawn stars have surfaced showbiz for years with millions of viewers all over the world. Seems like the show will stick around for a while as no one can really deal with the pawn business as the Harrisons do. And this brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, if you did, then let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And we'll catch you later in another video. Until then, take care and au revoir.